So sometimes we can't escape <clears throat> having to distribute a negative to two uh, terms. Uh, but in the case of the questions before, we were able to. Now this one is it's unavoidable. Because remember, the first step is we need to isolate that uh, absolute value, which it has already. We still need to take it in two steps. When 2x minus 5 is positive 5 minus 3x, and when 2x minus 5 is negative 5 minus 3 now this feels a little bit trickier and a little bit more abstract, but it really is just a um, an extension of having um, this uh, x minus 3 equal negative 7 and positive 7. It's just the same thing, it just becomes more abstract um, because uh, there are variables. So this one's a little bit easier, I want to keep a positive, so I'm going to add 3x to both sides, so I get 5x minus 5 equals 5, whew, that's a lot of 5s. Add 5 to both sides, 5x equals 10, x equals 2, done. What about this side? Step number 1, let's distribute that negative there with the happy little rainbows. So 2x minus 5 equals negative 5 um, minus 3x, again add 3x to both sides, 5x minus 5 equals negative 5, add 5 to both sides, 5x equals 0, x equals 0. Let's do a quick little check here. So on my left hand side I would say 4 minus 5 is negative 1, but the absolute value of that is positive 1, good. And I would say and I would say 5 minus 3x, 5 minus 3 times 2 is 6, so it equals negative 1. So we have a little bit of a situation here where we need to verify and uh, verify uh, the questions to look for, um, for solutions that don't exist. So let's set this up, left hand side, right hand side. So I'm going to say the absolute value of 2 times 2 minus 5, 4 minus 5, absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. And the right hand side would be 5 minus 3 times 2, 5 minus 6, which is negative 1. Left hand side does not equal right hand side, so we need 2 forget about that solution or say that it's not a solution. We need to reject it. It's a little harsh sounding, but that's what we do. We reject uh, solutions that don't exist. So I'm going to substitute in this 0, the absolute value, value of 2 times 0 minus 5, which is the absolute value of negative 5, which is 5. On this side we have 5 minus 3 times 0, which is 5, left hand side equals right hand side. We're good. Excellent. Let's look at this one. Now this one's a little bit of a tricky one because we have not isolated that absolute value. So the first thing we need to do before we split it off into the two solutions is we need to isolate it. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. The absolute value of 3x minus 4 equals 9 minus 12 is negative 3. We can say stop right here because in fact this can never exist. If something on one side is fully in an absolute value that means that this must all this answer in this absolute value must always be positive but we have a negative here. So we say solution does not exist. If we were to look at that uh, graphically, I'm just going to do a very, very like quick sketch. It means that we're going to have a V somewhere up here. Okay, It could look anywhere like that. But the solution of the line minus 3 is going to be down here. That means that the two graphs will never have any intersection points. Because everything in an absolute value when it comes to linear, because there's no squared on here, this is a linear absolute value, is a V. 
and the V will not connect with anything that is below the x-axis.